Welcome to my stream. I am the newly christened uh, Checkpoint professor. Previously, I was Gabriel Olson Art, um, but uh, I still do make art on my stream. I just have been sucked into the rabbit hole of uh, Super Mario Maker. So we're, we're doing something new today. Uh, not extremely new. I've playtested uh, student games before. Uh, but before we get started, we're trying a VR game, which is my first time ever streaming VR. So as we get started, here's a refresher. Henchman for Hire is a VR game where you drive, jump, and sabotage security for the supervillain Dr. Bad while traveling on a surprisingly resilient moped. Pretty cool. See how this works. All right, without further ado, here we go with Henchman for Hire. And my first time doing uh, VR on live stream. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Knowing that, okay, so, so I use my, oh, look at this. So I know that the one trigger finger is the, the brake and one's the gas, which, which I'm not holding onto the steering wheel of it yet, but look at that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab on. This audio is fantastic. I'm told this is an incredibly resilient, these, the art is looking really good. It looks like something's oh, been going on. <laughs> Very impressive, okay. <clears throat> looks like Orion Corp is directly ahead. Okay, there's some, some... Once we get inside, the elevator should take us where we need to go. Explosions happening, so... Oh no! I rode right over that. Ran into the elevator. Oh, snap. Listen, uh, we're gonna be a bit low on options up here because it turns out they don't have drive throughs four stories up. So we're gonna have to make our own outback window. Okay, are you ready? Because I sure am! Okay, I can see directly where to go in this block out. This looks like some kind of bridge. I take it back. Oh, snap! Bad idea. <laughs> that was awesome. Woo! Oh, well, um, we're alive, I think. So, chat, you can answer. You, you know, you look fine. Uh, we should probably go. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> okay. Recalculating your route to Doctor Bad. So, recalculating the route. Very cool. All right, so that, that was really cool. So I think one of the biggest takeaways was just uh, the improvement in the art really gave the aesthetic a feel. The voiceover was awesome. I definitely knew where to go. So the things you're doing to kind of direct traffic with the audio and where to go is, is, is really great. Um, the only thing is, and this isn't a huge critique because I know it takes a lot of work to do this, um, but I would love to see the uh, henchman and the supervillain so I assume when I was going over that bridge and it broke and collapsed that that is a spot where you'll kind of see the cinematic happen. So I'm really interested to see that, especially in VR, even more so than other games, is you have to keep whatever is happening within at least that 180 degree uh, visual uh, cone of the player. Otherwise it's gonna be missed. Even though I do have a lot of freedom to look around, it has to be able to catch my vision for me to be able to look towards it. And still, since it's a movement game, I'm always driving forward. And so generally, my, my vision is going to be straight ahead, just like as if I were driving a car in real life. Otherwise, uh, I'll probably get sick and throw up. <laughs> but that's really cool. Really great job. Um, okay. Fantastic. And my first time streaming a uh, VR game. Hey guys, thanks again so much for watching. I'm Tosh Ritter. I am the creative director. And I'm Brian Butters. I'm the narrative designer. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for all the future content. We've got a lot of exciting stuff for you guys. Absolutely. And be sure to check us out on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just keep a lookout for Secret Lab 72. 72. And we'll see you soon.